So I just got home after picking up this new guitar. This is actually a guitar that I've played before. I think this was the first guitar that I saw and gravitated towards at 42 Gear Street. And I played it in at least one video there. And now they have sent it to me. So I have this knife. I think we should get to it. I will open it. Um, so you get the whole unboxing experience. Then I just want to plug it into my micro cube. So a good clue to what this is, is the warning tape here. Nicht werfen. Brush Gefahr. I don't know what that means, but yes, it's a guitar from Germany. Uh, let me see. I, I had like two favorite guitar brands at 42 Gear Street. Ton, Ton Fuchs, one of them. This is not from them. Uh, so it's something else from Germany. So what could it be? A German guitar. Well, there's a good hint also there, but that's not like the guitar brand itself. It's more like the company above them, I would say. All right, let me see, let me see. Let me see. There's some bubble wrapping and there's a Wow, I did not see the cases there, the hard cases. This is pretty neat. Wow, that's cool. That's a very nice touch. And here is that cage that will go Perfect with my cowboy boots. Uh, yes. And if you haven't guessed it already, there you go. Maybach. And on the tape, it says here Albatross something something. So it's the Albatross from 42 Gear Street. And if you don't remember, Seeing that one, um, I will show you now. Here you go. Wow, cool. Oh, it's so cool to see that guitar again. So I guess it's pretty easy to see what this <laughs> is inspired by. Uh, but it's so well done and the aging, the aging, I, I can't really say that the aging is subtle, but you kind of need to get up close to see it properly because there's some checking here and like the, the worn stuff isn't that, that much. So yeah, not subtle, but you kind of have to get a bit closer to actually see it. And it looks so real. It looks like a guitar from 65. And it has a fairly, I'm not sure what this neck profile is called even, but it's, I would say it's probably one of the more, um, thicker 60s shapes so it's not like super slim it's not not anything close to like the 50s uh, less pulse typical sg shape i would say and the color is just so nice same thing with the hardware the pickup isn't too like overly aged 
Then we got a sticker there. I'm tempted to take that off <laughs> straight away, but yeah, um, let's try it. From what I remember, it has a bit of a different uh, setup from uh, 42 Gear Street. I would say it's um, better now. It's actually the exact guitar uh, from 42 Gear Street. And I know since then it also has been in the Plect machine. I think I can tell as well. Yeah, really a stunning guitar that I'm super eager to use in my videos. I kind of assume that this one going into, I wanna try to do uh, like a dual mono rig, not a stereo rig, but uh, my Friedman, Dirty Shirley and the Hampstead, both at once with this one. It's going to be amazing. This is like pure rock and roll. And I'm super happy about it. Um, let's plug it in. Um, can't really say that it's a first impression because I have played the guitar earlier, but let's plug it into the micro cube. <laughs> 